A lot of people misunderstand, I think, the the directive that God gave Adam and Eve in the garden. They, you know, particularly people who are, are non-believers, many times they frame it as though it was like a setup. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they didn't know no better. Like, why would God do that? And so on and so forth. And I think what they don't realize is, again, let's go back to what does it mean to be made in the image of God? Okay. Adam and Eve, mankind, we're made in God's image. And, and an aspect of that is this assignment that we have to steward and rule over creation as God's yeah. representatives. Okay. Yeah. We are supposed to have dominion yes. over creation, right? Yes. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, and we, we can we can get in, we don't have to get into all the different perspectives on you know Satan's fall and so on and so forth. We just keep it at this that clearly by the time Adam and Eve came along, Satan had already rebelled against God. That's that's yeah. safe to say. Okay. Yeah. And so here's the thing, right? Really, the the by placing the tree in the garden and giving them that, that directive, it wasn't like lining them up to take an L. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, what God did, he created a means by which they could exercise dominion over evil itself. I'm saying Ooh. by refraining, <laughs> by refraining from eating from the tree, they were literally exercising dominion over sin and evil wow. in the garden, right? And so unfortunately, right? Um, and we can even go further now. I'll just leave it there. But so unfortunately, they, they, they let that go. Say that again, man. Say that again. That was good, bro. Say that again. No, <laughs> right. So <laughs> this is really important, though, because again, many times people come to the Bible with these misconceptions or these preconceived notions of what they think is going on, and they just generally haven't entertained, you know, or, or really, I'll just say, you know, thought through what's actually going on in the text. And so, to put it shortly, and so really, what I'm saying is, God wasn't trying to set Adam and Eve up. He was. He wasn't like you know throwing a banana peel. In creation for them to slip on that's yeah. not what the the tree the of knowledge of good uh, of good and evil was what it was was a tangible means by which wow. adam and eve could exercise dominion over sin and death by their choice to refrain from eating from the tree man, that's what that, adam, is. that is so good man come on bro this is why i tell y'all this is one of my favorite apologists man that is so good bro